In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this very joyful, beautiful occasion when we are celebrating the right of monastic profession for Sister Euphrasia of the Annunciation. Lovely occasion. As usual, as we begin our celebration of the Eucharist, we take a moment or two to recognize God's presence and our need of God's healing mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. O God, who willed that the grace of baptism should flourish in your servant, Sister Euphrasia, so that she might strive to follow you more closely in the footsteps of your son. Grant, we pray, that constantly seeking evangelical perfection, she may add to the holiness of your church and increase her apostolic zeal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree and he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's and he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot, hot stones and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again, and the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, else the journey will be too great for you. And he rose and ate and drank and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great strong wind rent the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. And when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice to him and said, what are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the people of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thy altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I, only am left. And they seek my life to take it away, and the Lord said to him, Go, return to your, on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael to be king over Syria. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brethren, I, indeed I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as refuse in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own based on law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings becoming like him in his death, that if possible, I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Pressing toward the goal, not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brethren, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I am in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you. Unless you abide in me, I am the vine, you are the branches. They who abide in me, and I in them, they bear much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. If someone does not abide in me, they are cast forth as a branch and wither, and the branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words in you, ask whatever it will be done for you. For this is my Father, he is glorified, that you may bear fruit and prove to be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Mary Euphrasia, what do you ask of God and of his church? I ask for perseverance in following Christ, my bridegroom, in this monastic family all the days of my life. Amen. Alleluia. As we witness today, with great joy, joy, the monastic profession of Sister Euphrasia, we are inspired. I certainly am. Inspired by the fact that somewhat like Elijah in the first reading, in your own way, you have heard God's call in your way. It's not only a call as the first reading prayer said, to live out your past in your baptismal and confirmation promises. It's more than that. You're clearly being called to a monastic life, something much more intense, concentrated, committed to Christ more deeply, more fully through the Holy Spirit. As Paul says in that second reading, you are being called to appreciate 
the surpassing worth of knowing the Lord more fully, more deeply, more intimately. Great call. And with that, you know and will know more fully the power of the Lord's resurrection. The power of the resurrection. All this within the framework of the Benedictine congregation of the Sacred Heart of Jesus of Old Martha. Lovely call. It's your privilege. And we are very happy to support you today in your response to God's invitation. We know, and you know, it will entail much prayer, sacrifice, and grace, and as such, even like Peter and Paul and all the others, Benedict, a lot of them, it will be a challenge. The challenge will be precisely in the promise you made to remain faithful, to remain faithful. In a sense, neither you nor I nor anybody can do that on our own. It would be presumptuous. But you are given an assurance that you can do it, that you will do it, through the lovely words of the Gospel, where Christ is said, Abide in me. That is critical. Abide in me. If your life is energized by the Spirit of Jesus, which I hope it will be, it will bear great fruit, glorifying God and bringing light where there is darkness. Hope where there is despondency and love where it is. May God bless you. Now stand. Sister Euphrasia, through baptism you are already dead to sin and consecrated to the Lord. Are you resolved to unite yourself more closely to him by the bond of perpetual profession? I am. Are you resolved to persevere until death, seeking God with all your heart through the monastic vows of stability, conversion of life and obedience? I am. Are you resolved to strive constantly for perfect love of God and of your neighbour by zealously following the Gospel, the rule of Saint Benedict, 
and the constitutions of this monastic family. I am. Are you resolved to serve the heart of Christ and his church in your monastic life by persevering prayer, Eucharistic adoration, work and penance? I am. May God himself complete the good work he has begun in you. Amen. Amen.
Gloria a Deus, Pai Sacratíssimo, com Jesus. In the year of our Lord, 2020, on the 20th day of the month of June, I, Sister Mary Euphrasia of the Annunciation, women, of India Kemono around this world, Ida Tonot in Mostet, Nigeria. Before Almighty God, the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Holy Father Benedict, and all the saints whose relics are here, pronounce the vows of stability in the congregation, of conversion of life, and of obedience unto death. According to the rule of our Holy Father Benedict and the constitutions of the congregation, of the adorers of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, of Montmartre, Order of Saint Benedict. In the presence of Very Reverend Mother Marera of the Child Jesus, O, oh, the Superior General of the Congregation, into whose hands I place my profession, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the testimony, wherever I have signed this document with my own hand, in this monastery, Tyro Convent, London, on this day and year.
motion pictures, just as soon as it In the fullness of time, the rain stopped. The Holy Virgin from the stock of Jesse. The Holy Spirit is to come and your power overshadow, making her the enlightened mother of the world's feet. He became poor, humble, obedient, source and pattern of fullness. He formed the church into his mind, loving him with great love. So great that he gave himself for it, he sent to find it with his brother. Father, in the love and wisdom, you have seen God to be a good prophet, to be disciples, a spouse to promise, and to receive the love of the Lord. Holy Church shines with their rich humanity. When she comes at last to the throne of the king, Christ the king, may she not fear in this situation, but hear the voice of the bridegroom, loving and inviting her to the wedding feast of heaven. Now sits to Christ the Lord. Amen. See this white color, symbol of purity and love, that should be yours as you join the eternal powers and enjoy the land of God and sing the spiritual and holistic Amen.
receive this ring, a seal of the Holy Spirit. You are now forever espoused to Christ.
Pray now that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his Church. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servant, Mother Euphrasia, O Lord, and confirm in your love. She who professes the evangelical counsels through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ. He is the unblemished flower, sprang from the root of the virgin, declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you, and becoming obedient for our sake even to death, he willingly offered himself to you as perfect and fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave earthly things and promised that they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord, and all that you created rightly gives you praise. All life for holiness comes from you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age you gather our people of yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts. We are brought for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave it thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Sing away. 
when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate in the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension, and ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. We put favour on your church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to your Son. Grant that we who are nearest by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an everlasting gift to you, enable us to share the inheritance of the saints. With Mary the Virgin, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Benedict, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for feeling you. Lord, may the sacrifice which has made our peace advance the peace and salvation of the world. Strengthen in faith and charity. Your pilgrim church and earth, your servant Pope, Francis, our Bishop Vincent, all the bishops, clergy, entire people, you've gained as you will. Father, hear the prayers of the family. You've gathered here before you in mercy and love. Unite all your children, wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom. Are departed. Sisters and brothers, and all who have left this world in your friendship, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your God through Christ our Lord, through whom He gave us all that is good. Through Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father forever and ever. Let's now pray the Lord's Prayer. peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. O 
Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, drink your blood, that did not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the table of the Lamb. Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, drink your blood. It did not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body.
Let us pray. Having received with reverence the divine mysteries, we humbly beseech you, Lord, to inflame with the fire of your Holy Spirit his servant, Mother Euphrasia, bound to you by an act of sacred offering, and to admit her forever to the company of your Son, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Spirit. Mm-hmm. 